Welcome to My Point of View in Silver Spring, Maryland. I'm your host, Maria Heitman, and last week I decided to go to Fatty's Tattoos and Piercings to get my nostril pierced. It's something that I'd wanted to do for a while, so I decided why not. I looked for the best uh, tattoos and piercing places near me because I've gotten piercings in the past with uh, like the, the guns and they didn't really work for me, so I wanted to go to a professional. Um, I got great reviews on this place and um, here we are. So let's travel back in time a little bit and see how that experience went, shall we? My name is Maria Heitman and I am going to be taking you with me on various adventures to Silver Spring, Maryland. I live in Washington DC actually, but Silver Spring is just three metro stops away, so pretty easy for me to get there and back. Now today I am going to Fatty's Tattoo and Piercing uh, down in Silver Spring. I can't film inside the actual shop itself, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you my way there, my way back, maybe a little footage of the outside of the shop, and then I'll come back and do an actual review. So today we're a bit incognito for our journey, but um, let's go. Hey, heading to the metro. Step one of quite a few. We are in Silver Spring and uh, it is very humid out, so we're just gonna push right through and get to Fatty's. Okay, <laughs> a man on a scooter just like zipped by me and went, you're beautiful. <laughs> so that kind of made my day too. Good job, Silver Spring. Okay, here it is. Let's, uh, let's go in. Okay, so the door is currently locked, but we do have some cool artwork here to check out. I think, so Fatty is the founder and they have three locations and looks like he also does some pretty cool art. Um, here is a better picture of the logo and uh, yeah, I just guess I gotta wait until they let me in. Are you ready? I don't think you're ready. Ready? Boop. Oh, it's so cute. It's a little sun. Uh, the piercing itself was $60, and then I paid a bunch extra for this little sun dude right here. Um, but I think it's really cute. I got some really good aftercare instructions. Um, I'm gonna make a post-op appointment in about four to six weeks so he can like shorten the, I guess, the little thing so that, um, because that's when the swelling's gonna go down. But he was super nice, super great. I'll give a more detailed review when I get back home. Okay, hey, here I am, back in uniform, clearly, and um, here it is, up close and personal. It's a little swollen right now, which is normal. Um, I got some great uh, instructions from my piercer, his name was Dennis, who, fun fact, is actually from my hometown, so we ta talked about that a little bit. Um, the whole experience from beginning to end was really great and organized. Uh, the door was locked just because it's by appointment only for piercings and tattoos, so rang the bell. Um, got in, my piercer was working on someone else, so I had to wait a second before he came out and helped me. Um, but he was super nice. He helped me pick out my nose ring. He said this one would be like a little big for a nostril, but I thought it was really cool and so did he, so he was really supportive of that. Um, he took me into a private room, which was really nice because I was afraid I was going to cry, which I did a little bit, but it's okay. Uh, <laughs> So we put like the little marker on it, made sure that I was okay with the uh, the area that he was piercing, and then one and done. Uh, he was really supportive throughout the whole thing. He made very clear instructions as to aftercare. Uh, like I mentioned, he wants me to come back at about four, uh, six to eight weeks just to see how we're healing, how we're doing. And um, he told me to pick up like wound wash, which is just like saline to help sterilize it. Um, for those who are thinking about getting a nose piercing, um, the, at least the instructions I got were don't touch, don't twist, um, don't use makeup, sunscreen, or face wash around the immediate area, just so nothing can like get in, gets into the piercing itself. So that was great. Um, overall, I would definitely go back there again for either a t tattoo or a piercing. I had a really great time. I might go back and get like my second holes done because I had gotten a gun with them. 
um, a couple years back, but didn't really work well with my ears. But I felt really nice and safe and everything was sterile, clean, and the piercing person I had was fantastic. Overall, the experience was really great and obviously they've been in business for 25 years. They have three locations. Um, they they take things like really seriously but they know how to have fun and like make you feel comfortable in a position where you know you're not in the most comfortable uh you're not getting the most comfortable experience but i had a great time 10 out of 10 and would definitely go again wow past maria it looks like you had a blast <laughs> No, but seriously, I had a great time and we're about a week out and we're healing quite nicely. Can't complain. Um, thank you so much for joining me here on My Point of View. What would you like to see next? Comment below and maybe we'll go. Uh, but seriously, don't forget to subscribe for the Fuami Network because that's where we bring you our best original local content where you work, live, and play. All right, see you next time.